What's up everyone, the new year just started, so I figured it would be a good idea to look back at my Spotify year in review 2018, Spotify wrapped, Spotify rewind, however you want to call it. I always find these super interesting, they're so nicely made, so let's get into it. Can you guess how many minutes you spent listening this year? So I know it was about the same last year. Uh, 37,000 or something, I don't know. I hope it's gonna be more, so I'm gonna guess 43,000. Is that correct? Yes, it is. I know myself, man. And those are minutes you'll never get back, but then again, why would you want to? True. See what else? Yeah. Wow, that's super cool. That's XXX Tentacion's album cover. It's my top artist. You spent 16 hours with your favorite artist, XXX Tentacion, and the pleasure was all theirs. Well, not anymore. Anyways, um, it's not a surprise to me, but I wouldn't have expected it either. Like, um, I would have said it was in my top five. I didn't think it was going to be number one. But that animation was super cool, and that's <laughs> super cool too. The charts. Sure, December has too many end of year lists already, but yours is special, of course, it's special. Top artists XXX Tentacion, Marshmallow, Post Malone, Drake, and Major Laser. I feel like a basic bitch because Drake is in there, but then Post Malone I listen to a lot. I don't like all the songs on the new album. My favorites are Rich and Sad, uh, Kenny Paint, and. Uh, I don't know. I don't like better now or the singles, to be honest. Marshmallow. I, I, I listen to Marshmallow a lot, I guess. Um, there's a lot of collaborations with Friends and also Ocean with Khaled. So that's no surprise either. XXX. I don't know. He had a great year. Then he died, which got extra attention to him. So that's no surprise either. Um, Major Lazer has always been one of my favorites. And then Drake is on like every song <laughs> just coming out nowadays. Like... If you're a rapper and bring out a new album and Drake isn't on one of your features, then are you even releasing an album anymore? <laughs> I don't know. My top songs, my top song actually is Look Alive, which is no surprise because I just love the flow. It hasn't been charting that much. I believe it was like, I don't even think it was top 10 at any point, but I don't know. It's just bang every time I put it on, it just starts super cool um you can dance to it you can do the block boy jb dance which i did a lot <laughs> so when i was training that i guess i was listening to that song i think it just fits perfectly um maybe i can Not show no you one shall be drive, look alive, look alive. then life changes by good charlotte um i don't know i feel like rock bands don't get any recognition anymore nowadays and good charlotte is like a rock band which was popular around the 2000s so I really like that song. I just decided to give them a try again and I really love that song. You should give it a listen to, I think, if you're into that. Um, maybe Panic at the Disco is like the only band that brought out a rock song, which is top 10, I think, this year. I love that song too. Um, then we have Finesse Remix, which is Bruno Mars and Cardi B. That's when Cardi B first got big, I would say, before releasing their, uh, her own songs. And that was all, like, that would get me in the mood, man. I can also show a video to that. Then Tired by Alan Walker, Alan Walker Remix. Uh, that song is actually amazing. It really spoke to me if someone is like, if someone doesn't let you in on something and you're trying to get through to them, but you can, uh, that would be the song you should listen to. It's very emotional and then also very energetic and loud and fast at some points. So I love it. And then Psycho by Post Malone. Yeah, that would be one of my favorite songs on the album and I just, I loved it so much when it came out, so I forgot to mention that for Post Malone. Top genres are pop, dance, electronic, so I mainly listen to remixes of pop songs, which would be electronic, dance, EDM, yeah, you know what I mean. Then hip hop, um, I didn't really listen to hip hop much before, but it's, I don't know, I'm getting into it, I guess. And then Indian rock, that was what I was, I was listening to um, when I was younger, but I also like, if I listen to a daily mix, I usually go for rock because it just 
I don't know. It's not like it doesn't have to be a new song. They just always get me going, especially in the morning. Next page, top one hundred. Is that my personal top hundred? Put your favorite songs from twenty eighteen in a playlist. Some super solid choices in there, by the way. <laughs> Stop it, please. Um, Marshmallows on there. I'm gonna look at it on Spotify and then I'm gonna link it down below. I'm not gonna look at it now because it's a hundred songs and that's quite a lot. Next page. That's Sane, Party Next Door. That song is quite chilly. Dance pop, your favorite musical subgenre is dance pop. Yeah, that's what I meant before when I said pop remixes and dance. There are only about 2.8 million listeners who love this type of music as much as you do. Only. I guess it's quite specific. Um, but yeah, that would be my favorite right now, I'd say. That's Still Got Time. That's more of a chill song. I don't think that's super fitting. Maybe Tired is a better example. Or Martin Garrick stuff. Next page. Next. The old song. <laughs> what is that song? Even with all the new fangle music coming out, you still found time for all this like Itsy Bitsy Strand Bikini. Radio version recorded in 1960 by Buddy. That's a super old song indeed. Um, it used to be like a German party song really back in the day. So I was sometimes I'm just out there think, thinking of something crazy and then I need to listen to one of those songs or I don't know. Sometimes you just get a weird intuition. You just gotta listen to that song. Um, that would be my card I could share. I think it looks super cool. Red. Or kind of orange, red, black, white, and that super cool album cover, which is just uh, squirrels, I guess. Um, top songs of artists, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I like my top artists. I think they explain what I listen to. Top from pop, I would like prefer if, the, if it was dance pop or electronic or something. Minutes listen, that's a lot. I can really be proud of that. Forty-three thousand minutes. Let's see, that would be divided by 365. Give me that. That would be 120 minutes a day, which would be two hours pretty much. I listen to Spotify for two hours a day, which is a lot. Like if you consider weekends and I'm listening to CDs in my car and radio and other stuff, YouTube, SoundCloud, like that's super much, I would say. Uh, so I'm proud of that number, like those are not rookie numbers I would say. And top songs, I, I had a feeling it was going to be Look Alive, maybe uh, Tired as well. I didn't expect Life Changes, Finesse or Psycho. But yeah, that's my Spotify Rap 2018. Check out yours by going to spotifyrap.com. And I guess that's it, I always find these super cool. Um, I would have liked to have more of a guessing game, like which was your top artist. Just uh, yeah, have to, well, you have to guess like I had to guess with minutes or maybe compared to last year because I used it last year too. And one of the super cool things about Spotify is that they collect so much information about your listening behavior, which is not really private information. Like you don't really care if people know what you're listening to, right? And you get super cool recommendations. Uh, I really like the daily mixes or the time capsule, which gives you all songs. So I'm looking forward to next year. Uh, let me know what your top artist was if you're, l l if you're <laughs> using Spotify. And that's been it with this video. I'm going to do another one next year and we're going to see how this is going to change. Have a nice 2019. Leave a like on this video and subscribe if you want to see more. And that's been it for me. See you next time.